Hey everyone, welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. I am glad you made it today because today I'm in Novi, Michigan at the Novi Home and Garden Show and we are checking out five homes they have on display here for the public to see, which is amazing. It's a great way for everyone to see how great these homes are. Like this one we're standing in today, this is built by Champion Homes and I want to tell you all about it. So let's head on outside. Here we are, everybody. We are at the Novi Home and Garden Show out in Novi, Michigan, and we are taking a look at another wonderful home brought here by a few of the communities in the area here. Like this one, this one was brought to you by AJR Communities, and I had the chance on this trip to stop by one of their communities, and oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous, just like this home. Take a look at that porch, the windows, the dormers, everything about this. I like so far. And what we're looking at today, everybody, is the Advantage Sectional 3270 AJR3, built by Redmond Homes in Topeka. Now, this is a three bad, two bath that sits at 1,758 square feet. The dimensions of this home 32 feet by 66 feet. And the base price for this one, or what they're asking for, is $184,900. And in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. So let's get in here and let's take a home tour. Where's Will? Now let me show you why it's worth it. Now walking in, take a look at that view right here, but spin it around. Let me first show you the nice foyer they have right here with some storage right there and a countertop. That is a nice touch with an archway above that just gives you that nice little look. And walking into this living room, I mean, take a look. Nice, big, open concept floor plan. The living room size is 17 feet, 6 inches by 14 feet, 5 inches. And take a look at those big windows right there and the grandiose of this living room and hey before we really get going do me a favor hit that like button that always helps out the channel helps get this video out to more people and youtube wants to see that and while you're at it if you haven't done so consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll always be alerted to when these new home tours are posted and you'll be able to see them as soon as they are released but take a look at this dining room i love the fact that it's actually separate and it's big it's 10 feet 8 inches by 14 feet 5 inches and they have this built-in cabinet set right here which i love now plenty of storage we have a countertop in the middle which gives it whoop, watch out that was one thing um but it gives you you know a separation for the top to the bottom um i like the way this is plenty of storage plenty of room you could use it as a, a coffee bar or or whatever really what would you use it for let me know in the comments below um because i have plenty of ideas for for what I could use with that so but again this the size of the dining room is nice and hey down here we even have like pullouts you know what I mean if you have a stack of games maybe um, uh, dishes I'm not sure again what would you do with it let me know let me know but looking over here I mean take a look it's big it's nice it's open um, the only thing that I see so far is it has the um, the flooring right there, we have a little bump in the middle uh, where the uh, marriage line is, and that is something that you could always change in the ordering process. But let's take a look. We have a nice um, eat in counter there, seating for about three or four. We have a nice little spot here that could also be a little coffee bar, tea bar, or something like that. Um, looking pretty nice. We have adjustable shelves, as you can see. Pretty nice. I like that backsplash. I like that uh, dark subway tile look. That is a nice contrast to the gray that's going on in this house. And if you take a look at that um, that island, we even have brown tones in there, which brings in all the colors. So that's that's really cool. Now taking a look at the kitchen here, I love the industrial style um, range hood with that black dark subway tile in the back. And take a look at uh, the gas stove here and the oven. I love that separation. It's like two pieces. That is just nice. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, this is in a manufactured home. You don't really even see that in, in um, stick belts unless you're gonna you know, redo your whole kitchen right now. And then back over to the island here, plenty of storage. We have a nice apron sink right here, big with that pulled down um, gooseneck like faucet there to you know spray everybody if they make you mad. And then you have your dishwasher right there. Um, and one thing I'd have to say is it has a nice amount of space in between the, um, the island and the cook range um, good amount of space good elbow room so you know you can definitely work back to back i love the soft closed doors right there um, 
and that color tone, you know, that brown compared to over here with all this gray. Pretty nice. Hey, watch your step when you walk through the homes. You might trip. Um, I pulled that down uh, from outside, so I know I won't fall. But taking a look, let's go take a look at the um, the the pantry here. And this pantry has four nice size shelves. Now they are uh, wire shelves, which is still good. They're you know pretty strong there. They will hold a lot of that. Personally, I of course prefer wood. But again, you might be able to change that in. You know the ordering process and then over here on the other side of the kitchen what do we have more storage and a built-in microwave that is nice we got closed soft closed doors and drawers throughout this house and we have like you know a pot pan right here which is you know plenty of space and room um, and a nice French door refrigerator just come standard in the home but of course, this one's set up for the um, stainless steel appliance package, but remember, you can always change it to black or white, depending on what you would like to see. And I love these right here. I love the corrugated glass um, cupboards here. Um, you know, put a little bit of like a strip light underneath, you know, behind, that would look awesome. And then even more like decor area up there. Um, down here, more drawer over doors. That's nice, it's a good touch. Plenty of uh, power outlets throughout the house so far is what I'm seeing as well. But I mean, take a look at this kitchen. This kitchen is nice. I would definitely um, love to cook in it. You know, and let's go down over here. We're going to take a look now at the, um, the laundry area mudroom. But I wanted to show you this real quick. I love these. This is called, you know, a locker. Kind of like, you know, what you would have, you know, sporting events and stuff like that. But I love it because when you come in from the outside, you know, it's a place to sit down, take off your boots, shoes, you know, depending on where you're at. We're in Michigan, so you know it snows. So this is a great spot to come on in, take off your coat, and um, be welcomed home, really. So... Let's take a look at what's the uh, utility room got. That was bad English. But <laughs> let's take a look. We're taking a look. We have a nice big wash sink and open area right there, maybe for some hampers. Um, a couple of windows letting that natural light in. That's nice. Um, a fire extinguisher in here in case you do need that. Um, storage above your side by sides. This one's set up for gas, of course. But again, change it to electric if you want to in the ordering process always a possibility and right here we see this is your furnace HVAC system right here right behind the door you have your electrical panel on the right hand side right there as well see one hundred eighty four thousand nine hundred dollars that is a in my opinion a great price for this home and then we have a coat closet right here right off the back door to the porch so let's go out and take a look and see what this porch has for us now, if you want to know more about this home, um, some of the features, options, and things like that, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see a 3D tour, see some photos, um, get all the information you need, and go see this home in person um, wherever you're at. But, I mean, take a look at this porch. This porch is huge, you know. The size of the home is 32 feet. So this is 32 feet by 8 feet. And we have two doors. We have the one door leading out to the um, utility area, and then we have the sliding glass door that's leading back into the dining area, which is nice. And then let's go back into the guest areas and take a look at it. So this home so far is gorgeous, in my opinion. What do you think? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you would, you know, change anything in the home. Um, switch it up flip it around what would you do let me know and then as we go there we have a nice little closet right there and then the first guest room right here nice big window back there the first guest room is 10 feet by 14 feet 5 inches and that is more than ample room i would say for a guest room and um they're all about this size this were bigger so it's really nice and we have a uh, walk-in closet right over here we're going to take a look at we have of course those uh, wire shelves which do do the job just just right down there we have um, a different flooring in the uh, in the closet which is cool now let's go check out the other ones now, first let us check out the guest bath now walking in here we have a nice 
amount of size. I mean, for a gas bath, you have your standard 60 by 30 uh, wraparound shower right there. So there's, you know, it's one piece, so no water gets in between. That's always nice because water is your enemy in a home pretty much. And then right over here, we have your elongated uh, commode there and a single vanity with what is that? Four drawers and two spot, two cupboards right there. It's nice, great lighting above. I do like the uh, the brown color that they've chose for the uh, gas bath. It's very complimentary to the whole home. See, so kind of ties in that uh, that island out there. Moving on back, we're gonna check out that primary soon, but first. Let's see what's in here. Now this is the second guest room, and this room is nine feet and nine inches by 14 feet, five inches. So literally it's just a, just a touch smaller than the other room next door. So that's really nice, really nice. And now that is where we find your water access. So that is in the second guest room. So make sure that you have your tools available here in case you need to get in there. But it's also got a nice size um, walk-in closet to go along with it. So it doesn't take away too much from the room. But personally, I would love to see the water heaters in like the utility room or, you know, somewhere else. But, you know, maybe one day we'll figure out why they're put there. Is there a reason? Maybe we'll do, a sh we'll, we'll do an episode on that. Let's do that. Now let's walk into the primary and check it all out. Now this room is, of course, the biggest room in the house, but it's a very nice room in the house. We have a nice big window in the back there, another window on the right-hand side there. But the size of this room is 14 feet by 14 feet, 5 inches. Nice, big, spacious. I could see myself. Now one thing I did notice in this home is the registers are up top. The air and heat are coming from above. So that's a positive in a lot of people's minds, mine, mine as well. Let's take a look at here. We have a nice walk-in closet. It's just a touch bigger than the other two walk-in closets, I would have to say, but it's rather spacious. Um, right here, we have the barn door that leads to your primary bath. Now, of course, that's something you could probably change in the options when you uh, go and order your home, because I know some people don't like those type of doors, but there's options. So click that link find out and now we are in the primary bath we've got a double vanity with two great mirrors right there plenty of lighting your commode is set up over here on the side so it is separate from everybody everything which is nice I like that and a nice walk-in shower now the step up there is about four inches so it's not too high not too low and then in here we have a nice rain head shower with a handle shower head as well and some great tiling. Take a look at that. That is pretty. That is pretty. And in a shower like that, you don't need any um, curtains or rods or anything else, so that makes it easy. And then right over here, more linen storage, just more storage in general. Yeah. And like that sign says, please do not use the toilets in model homes. And then right over here, we see we've got a nice little drawer bank of four here, um, some storage underneath the sinks, you know, a standard. And then there's also an opening underneath there, as you see, for maybe some towels or something like that. That's really nice. And then over here, we even have more storage, you know, drawers on the other side. So great amount of um, storage capabilities in this primary bath. And take a look at that black splash, the color scheme. I like it. The lights everything rather impressed rather impressed this is a nice home and i hope you liked it because i liked it i traveled all the way to michigan to take a look at it so <laughs> but there is this home thank you everybody for joining me i truly appreciate all of your support following me all across the united states of america if you followed the channel um as of late you've noticed that we've been doing less videos well sometimes we just need a break <laughs> and that's what's going on here but thank you everybody we're going to keep bringing you all of these home tours but join me for the next one um wherever that one's gonna be um but until then thank you again have a wonderful day remember to live smarter choose manufactured and travel easy i'll see you next time everybody